Can I link that to that? No, that's not right either. Nope, that's the look of, no, you're wrong. Hey, 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 everybody. It's Eric, and I am back with more of Episode 4 of Telltale Series Batman Game. Without any further ado, let's get back into it, shall we? Things just continue to get worse. The Joker's involved. Uh, Cobblepot's involved. Lady Arkham's involved. It's just worse and worse and worse. Here we go. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. Yeah, that's pretty and all surprising. The while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did she brought me Lieutenant down. Gordon hear about this lead when he let Crouch. you out? Not yet. She brought Batman me down. Crouch. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne is as low as Donald well, Trump. It certainly hasn't gotten any better. Nothing to say to that. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Thank you, Alfred. Hello, Harvey. Have you gotten over being you angry stay with me? In the asylum where I put you. No, nope, that's not. Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. So you want to kill me? Great. Well, you'll figure that out eventually. But by then it'll be too late. Nothing to say to you either. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground, obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. Thanks for turning on me so quickly. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. You're pathetic, Harvey. I finally gave in. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure That's right. I'm you. turning on you now. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Oh, well, fuck you Can't too, let buddy. You keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. Well, you started it. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. that I will I even say sorry. Either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. God damn it, Harvey. Then fuck off. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. Yeah. Screw you, buddy. What's going on here? Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne, you really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much. Hmm? Unbelievable. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Do you have a warrant? I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Oh shit. Get back to your car. Here we go. <laughs> of course. Should have known. Wow, they really back hate to me Arkham, now. You damn maniac. The God, they hate Careful, me. Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. They really hate me. Holy shit. Nothing to say, huh? I have really made the darkest choices. They fucking hate me. They should lock you up. Wow. Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. Wow. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice... Or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded. Hmm? Holy well shit! Armed. What do you say? Wow. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. 
Um, this is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? I I, I don't know. Who's gonna hear about this? And it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us. Back off! Back off, people! Bruce! Hey, your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they. Oh my God! I don't know which one to do. Um, you know good for, you ram the barricade! Fuck it! Ram hours. the barricade! Ram the barricade! <laughs> Fuck it. The Batmobile. This is the Batmobile. <laughs> hey! Holy shit! <laughs> Worst choices ever. <laughs> Darkest night. <laughs> Selena might be my only saving grace. Oh, I'm making such bad choices now. I love it. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, no, Selena, you can't leave. All over the news no. about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. No, that's Not just really going to make it worse. Somebody has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? I'll protect you. You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Hey. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him I can protect you. The bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. <laughs> the night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. Wow. That's a fucking low blow. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Harvey won't kill you. Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would- God damn know. it, there's no way to save this. So where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. Come on, Selena, no don't leave. take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. Don't leave, That's Selena. See you around. Wow, there was no way to Good stop her. All of this. Wow, she was just gone. I never even got to have time with her in my mansion because I was in Arkham the whole time she was here. Was so much for more sexy time. I'm gonna have to start killing bitches. I'm Clearly, that's okay. the only answer. I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. <laughs> I have nothing to say to that. Please, we need to address your health before you do anything else. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. Yeah, let's yes, fucking solve the drug for damn sure. The presence let's of do the that. Drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. Well, thank God I have all that technology, huh? I'll make the preparations. Thank God you can just scan my fucking DNA at any time. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Okay. Here's my DNA before the incident. Great. Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. So let's do that. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to... sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. Oh, I see. This isn't that That's hard. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Ta-da! Done and done. That should do it. That was easy. Antidote myself. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. 
I don't imagine it'll be much fun. I don't care. Let's just be clean. Finally clear of this damn drug. <laughs> Yay! Did it work? Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. I feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? Kill first things all first, of them. I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. Well, because she's not going to woman have a body. Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. <laughs> well, Alfred's really pissed about it. I have nothing to say there to that. There have been vipers at every turn recently. That's true. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Oh yeah, of course. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Of course well, she that's is. That's true. She may be more dangerous than ever. And I, I really wonder if nobody noticed that I, Bruce Wayne got locked up and then Batman disappeared. Who gave me Did nobody notice that? A tip. Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He, he knew, knew Vicky was Lady Vicky Arkham. Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. <sighs> I suppose that's not something we can ignore. Trustworthy or not. Well, he's not trustworthy, but he told me that he's the Joker. If I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. So if let's the go do that. Still live in Gotham. They should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Dink. And done. Bruce. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Well, she can't inject me again. I have the antidote. Hello? Avon calling. Uh, hello? I'm inside the Vale House. Hello? Guten Tag? Wie geht? Oh, there's a dead body. I wonder how long it's been dead. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Yeah, there's like oh, blood on the walls and shit. I don't shit. know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Oh my god, she carved out their eyes. Ew. That's gross as hell. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is oh, maybe she got drug? them to kill each other. Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe Ugh. she's escalating. This seems personal. That's so Her gross. Eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Oh, that's so gross. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. How wonderful. Link and Link. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Family, family photo. photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo. Did on they the did they throw her out of the family or something? I don't know. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. That's weird. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not See, I told you. Blood spatter spread. across the walls. Blood Someone spatter across the walls. Wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Here's Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife. Aha, there we go. Managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Ta-da! Crash. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Yep. Alive. No, of course not. He's gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. Oh, there we go. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. The belt will connect to this. Right? Yep. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Man, she really went after them. And then the logo connects to the photo. The logo is Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yeah, called yes, Vale Heating and Oil, surprisingly in the enough. District and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Oh, what God, exactly she could put it in, in people's house. houses. Oh, shit. I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. Yep. To do that, she needed them out of the way. So she With killed Vicky them. Vicky Bell fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. So they had a fight. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal yeah, motivation. Yeah, she just fucking went to town. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Yeah, totally. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's so awful. That, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. The phone call came from the house. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Anything? It's gonna be the little the little boy, right? No. It's totally gonna be the kid. The kid's still here somewhere. He's under the stairs. There's someone here. Yep, under I told you it's the kid. Alive. I knew it. That little adopted boy. Don't worry, kid. I'm Batman. I won't okay. be mean to a kid. I'm not going to hurt you. I was Bruce Wayne. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? No. Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. No, he's not he all right. The fucking parents he has happened. just got slaughtered. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. I will try. This may be the one and only time I try and be nice. Tell me what I happened. I need to know what happened. No. Tell me what no. you saw. Go away. <laughs> so much for doing it nice. Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Please, please just leave me alone. I'm on your side. Uh oh. Get down. Oh, I saved the kid. Yay. Well, hello, Batman. What a pleasure to see you. Wow, that kid almost got killed. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. 
I've got these little bat traps all over the city, but I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Zank. They get it? The hell? It didn't work. Damn it. Oh, you go, kid. Oh, no. There we go. Holy shit, that kid almost died trying to help. But way to go, kid. Jesus. Good job, kid. Nice work, kid. But now the kid has seen his parents. Oh, good. They're dead. Oh, good. Great. You need to be yes, strong. They are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them, to channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Yeah. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no there matter you what go. happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. You're the kid who and saved I will Batman. Always owe you one. Hell yes. That's a good way to help Batman. him remember something. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Okay, that kid's gonna be okay. I mean, oh, Jesus. you know, he's gonna have lots of trauma, Is this the children but of Arkham? he's at least Again? sort of okay. Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Yep. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? Yep. So, who was the boy then? He He's was a witness. In the closet when the attack started. He may know more than he realizes. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Veil Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Bye. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. Oh, good. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Fantastic. Fuck you, dude. Thunk. And there we go. More of Batman the Telltale Series Episode 4. Hope you guys enjoyed it, because I had a hell of a lot of fun playing it. I love playing games for you guys as many times as I possibly can. And until next time, this is Eric with He Played, She Played. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the alert so you can see everything when it shows up. And until next time, I am out.